welcome back to one one and one okay so today i want to show you you know one product one curriculum and answer one question so today the product i want to show you is actually graphic comics you can learn such an array of information and i have been waiting for weeks for this specific shakespeare retelling of just a bunch of shakespeare classics in the graphic comic style at, so that young kids can understand what's going on and I've been it's been back ordered forever but besides that they got for chemistry they I mean they just there's a ton of subjects that you can get graphic comics on for whatever reason that that might appeal to your learner and this is one these are from Noeo science they come in the physical science so it's about light forces and motion magnetism and sound I haven't gotten through them yet but I'll give you a little, a quick little preview before we get into the curriculum that we we're discussing today. So it's got light, it's got definitions at the back there. And then it just, it's a, like a graphic novel about light. So I, I glimpsed at it for a bit and I wasn't, I mean, I didn't think they're the best things I've ever written, but again, I haven't gone through them. I don't know, I could just be being extremely judgmental. That is definitely a possibility. Okay, so American Patriots, Pioneers and Patriots. This book is small, but it's like a curriculum in itself. This is by Christian Liberty Press. And so what you're gonna see inside, I'm gonna give you a little preview into the lesson here. So American Pioneers and Patriots, so you can kind of picture the time zone, the time period we are talking about. But on the Ohio, so this is what your lesson would look like. They're short lessons. See, very short lessons, usually only two pages. And then what I like is it is a full curriculum in the sense that to me, look, Pioneer schools look like. It's got questions at the end of the unit. To me, unit eight review, as soon as you got questions, I'm like, eh, that's a full curriculum. And it's got things to do. So it is definitely literacy based. So look, ask your parents, you can plan apple tree, find the Ohio River on the map of the United States. Where does it begin? Into what large river does it flow? And so let's look at the table of contents here so you can just see. So what I love about this, my favorite part about this is my favorite way to tell history, which is kind of, I wanna say first person, but it's like stories of people as if they were there going through it, right? And so the story of the pioneers in Virginia, pioneers from Spain, pioneers in Plymouth, Dutch pioneers, traveling by canoe, the story of the boy who saw George Washington become president. And so it's got all these interesting, yeah, just stories regarding it. And so there you go. So again, it's not a thick, it's not, it's not extremely thick. I'm not sure of the price. I can't recall at all. So let's talk, my question of the day is, what are my least favorite curriculums? I have a couple that are my least favorite. One I'm always torn about. Always is a Becca because of the cost. Because of the cost, it's, it's just, it's, it's one of my least favorite curriculums and that hurts a lot because their readers, oh my goodness, you know I cannot take my love for their readers. Like their readers are fantastic. If you don't get anything else, just get like the kind and the brave and for each year you can buy them used on ebay look for them and they got but it's 23 dollars a book new and you get inside of them like over 100 pages 176 pages of stories and so they have them for year one year two year three year four they get more interesting in year one halfway through they start getting really interesting and they got questions at the end and they got they're very christian so if you are not into that like there's no way you can be like okay i'm just gonna skip that section no, it is totally ingrained in let's ask God for help and things like that. So, but because of the cost, they are always rank on my least, least favorites. Um, but the good news is, is that a lot of the curriculums you can do over a two year period because they, they do have a lot of things. And a lot of things I, I love about, because their curriculums come with so much that you can extend it over a longer period of time if you wanted to, um, if that was your thing. Also, one of the things I love about the curriculum is because it was made for schools, there's not a lot of activities in it, <laughs> which as a parent, I have to say that I think that's great. I don't know how the students feel about it, except that when I read it to them, they, they still find it interesting. It still is very interesting, um, but it's, it's not that intensive that I gotta go out every week and make sure I got this whole list of all these experiments planned. The other one on my least favorite list would be sunlight. Sunlight, you know how I feel about sunlight. It's not that they're bad programs. It's just that there's always something better. I will find something and be excited about it, like Heroes and Happenings, which I think is pretty cool. But then I find something better and I'm like, ugh. So 
Um, but there are some other programs that I think is a fail. I think their their young Bible program, their young like their HBL, their young Bible component of that is a fail. It's essentially just this book and a CD, <laughs> and so it's not even it's it's just not that interesting to little kids. I don't think. Um, I know it looks like there's a lot of pictures in it. There's not. There's not that many pictures, and it's a lot of text to read for little kids. So I just don't think it's the best, especially if your name is Sunlight. I just don't think that's the best. Again, they're, it's a good program. Like there's, there's nothing wrong with any of these programs. It's just I'm telling you what I, my least favorite, but hands down my least favorite by far a million times is, is their Sunlight Science. It is such, it's overpriced and full of busy work. I know that sounds like very harsh criticism of them. I'm sorry I feel that way. If you like it, hey, great, like good for you. No problem, go on. I have three years of it that I cannot get rid of. Ooh, and I keep thinking, well, I'll do some experiments from it, but the amount of busy work in it, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you do not need a solid week of day, five days a week of freaking ants. Like in all the, in the handwriting, these little kids, these worksheets, these little kids are supposed to have to complete. I just think it's too intensive and I don't think you're learning that much. Like. If your child loves it and they're like, oh my gosh, I love ants, then absolutely go in deep dive into ants. But if, but not every child is like, wow, ants are the best thing that's ever happened to this world. And so they want to do a bunch of experiments about ants and you've got to be the parent who's got to initiate that. And I ordered the box of supplies to come because if you do not order that box, it's like $79, $80. If you don't order that box, oh my gosh, how are you supposed to find these little tiny wheels and these, this little tiny plastic tubing? How are you supposed to find that stuff? And even with that box, you're still required to come up with a lot of um, with a lot of supplies for it. So I continually wish they would be like, that Sunlight would reach out to me and be like, hey, would you help us make your program better? <gasps> I would, I would. You do not have to pay me I, for free. I will give you all my notes and advice. But I will do that for anyone's curriculum too though. If you have a curriculum that you have created, I will always look at it. I will always take a look at it. If you want my feedback, I'll give you feedback. If you do not want my feedback, I will not give you feedback unless you ask. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. Talk to you later. Can you say please like and subscribe? Hey, bye, do I. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell, you know what that's <laughs>